Hey, uh, people of Universe, humans of Universe. After many months, uh, I am actually recording some technical stuff uh, in front of camera. Uh, so, the subject that I have chosen is a very, very basic uh, subject. It's called canonical class in C++. Okay. So, uh, so what does it mean? Okay. So, basically. Uh, uh, the idea of an object-oriented paradigm uh, is that uh, you know the the user-defined types or the UDT must be as close in behavior to the built-in types as possible. So this is the basic idea of an uh, of an UDT. They they should behave as much as much similar to the built-in types as possible. This is the very basic idea behind the user defined type and canonical class uh, is a concept uh, which basically in C++ which basically uh, helps us to define such kind of classes which are which which will behave as as uh, as much similar to the built-in types as possible so we have uh, today today we are going to uh, dis uh, you know discuss about this canonical class in C++ so so that there are a few things that a canonical class uh, must have uh, a few things okay number one it should have a default constructor that is no parameter uh, constructor it should have a virtual destruction it should have a uh, an assignment operator and it should have a uh, you know, copy constructor so these are the these are the, uh, these are the, these are the, these are the four things that a canonical class C++ class uh, must have uh, so before it is being called a canonical class okay so today we are going to uh, develop a canonical class uh, for a string class okay so we, it will be uh, the simplest form of a string class we won't go into many details of the string class and we will for the time being we will uh, take the buffer of the string class as a normal raw pointer buffer that is the character store and um, we will uh, you know we will develop the string class like that okay so let's let's start uh, the project okay so uh, we, by the way, uh, we will be taking the help of a string utility class. So this string utility class, uh, some of the functions uh, we have already written. So uh, one function is mem copy. Uh, the first function is mem copy. And the purpose of this function is to copy from a source a source buffer to a destination buffer. Then the other function is the string length, that is the which is basically taking a, a character star buffer as a parameter so this this will give you the length of that character buffer and then the concatenation function string cat and then the is equal uh, if string one is equal to string two so and these are the, these are the these are the basic utility functions of the of the of the string uh, of the of the uh, of, of our project um, which we have already uh, predefined okay I mean, the, we have already uh, written this function, so let me show you uh, this this class. This is the string utility class. This is this is, this is the string utility class. So uh, the first function is the main copy, and similarly there are other functions. Similarly, you have string length. Similarly, you have string concatenation, and similarly you have is equal. Okay. So these are the these are the functions we will be using. Okay. So now let's uh, as as we have discussed, let's. Uh, you know, uh, let's let's define our what is that called? Um, let's let's define our you know project. Okay, let's 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 create our class, uh, the string class, which should basically uh, resemble a canonical class. Okay, so let us first start the um, uh, project. Uh, the the class. Okay, so uh, how can I get uh, to it? So. So window appear prosperity prosperity appear prosperity prosperity shit prosperity is it prosperity okay okay this is the this is the uh, so let's add a string class okay we have we are adding it to an existing project so let's have a class C plus plus class and let's have a for example, let's have a let's name it my string one. Okay, let's define this class my string one. Okay, so we will have this 
matching one as you can see the eclipse has already created the basic uh, some of the uh, you know boilerplate codes for one is the you have this default constructor default constructor and that is we have virtual destructor and we will have our own constructor my string my string one and we will take a so one argument overloaded constructor which, which will take a character star in str okay this is one thing this is one constructor we have one constructor we have then we have our as we as we have already discussed the canonical class should have a assignment operator and a and a uh, copy constructor besides the default default constructor and the virtual destructor so let's define the copy constructor first my string one my string one let's define the copy constructor so const my string one and as you know we pass the parameter as uh, reference because uh, copy constructor means whenever the constructor will be called uh, if we don't pass the parameter as a reference then it will it would like to store the parameter in the stack in the local stack and the stack that is being provided for the function constructor and then again to copy the object in the stack it will again call the copy constructor so it will be an infinite loop okay so this is that's why we pass the uh, parameter as a uh, reference okay and then we have my string one will have operation equal to equal to and we will also here we will have my string l and person and other okay that's it okay these are the very basic belief blocks of the of our of our of our project of our of our uh, canonical string class and then we will have uh, a maybe a we can have a inline function say say void in void inline sorry void inline we will have an inline function that's called display display and that's that we will have something like uh, see how before that even we will have to add the member variable as I told you we will have a buffer so we will have a character star data and we will have a uh, we will have a length so int length okay these are the data we are having and then this place so see out data data and end up okay these are the basic things we will have so so let's let's first of all let's uh, go to the machine on cpp so these are the things we have now the rest of the part i will do so here we will have mm, my string my string and we will have my string one right and we will have my string one and we will have character star in str is one one and then we will have my string one my string string one and we will have the my string one and portion and copy constructor and then we will have assignment operator so so my string one and portion and my string my string one and then Matching, matching one operator equal to, and then we'll have 
matching one and puts and puts in others other than this we will have yes okay so that's it so okay. so now let's start with the basic start okay so here we will simply have data equal to null and before that is in fact we will have to do something matching one so include 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 string utility include IO stream include include IO stream IO include IO stream include include so include string include string utility dot header file and include include anything else include I think null is the in that string. Yes, yes. And then using in the namespace the CD, okay? Yes, the CD. That's it. Okay. So my string on CPP is to null any problem. It has to get to null and then then it has to get to null and then we have length control c and here we have control c length is equal to a zero right this is one thing and then we have this so we will have to first create that we are passing a buffer a character style buffer to, uh, to create the string so we will have str str and then we will have something like um, so data so in L equals to we'll use the string utility string utility and then we'll have string utility so file save all save all then probably it will come so string utility and we will have string length and we will have let's see okay, this is the then we will have to create a buffer so in sorry data equals to new character new character and l plus one one is for to store the mm, you know null uh, null variable okay and then we have then remember length we don't this length is because okay it doesn't matter and then we have uh, we have then um, we have uh, uh, string utility, right? string utility, and we will have mem 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 copy. We will use mem copy method, and we will have this is the data. This is the this is the destination data, and source is in string in string source is in string character store, and length is equal to l plus one. Okay, so this is this is it will copy the data, and then we will have gth length is equal to l and that's it right so this is this is this is done and then we will have these copy constructors copy constructors sim similarly in l equals to other dot length other dot length and then we we'll simply we can copy it we can copy it simply same thing control c and we have it will be same thing only thing is that here instead of this we will have other dot data right data that's it it's done and then we will have we will have what else the assignment of its assignment operator similarly similarly here we will have this we will have this Control V and data is equal to another dot length string utility cap data and length is equal to L and then of course here we will have to return return star this okay that's it and then what else destructure you know in the destructure we will have to delete 
and then the array, the buffer, whole buffer, and then dead, right? So that's it. So this is this is one canonical class, and then the display we have already defined the display class display method as it as an inline method. So let's let's I think it's done. The canonical class is done, and then we we'll just have to build it. Okay. So let's build it. So file save all and then project let's build project okay and i hope it will be okay i have federated one in any matching one so just matching one defined everybody that form in file matching one node class matching one what is that called what is that called Okay, so 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 this is uh, this is uh, some of the constant data. So now let's go to the main. Let's go to the main and let's have a my string one str. So we will have my string one str and let's define it using my name. So this is one constructor we are calling. One constructor we are calling this is so one constructor we are calling and then we are creating another another my string str one is equal to we are let's call the let's call the copy constructor so we have str str one is equal to str and then we will have we will have simply we will have str to display and str1 to display let's see what exactly it gives okay so file save all and then both will should display so right so project build project i think it's okay and it's okay and so for it is really getting the scope oh okay 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 so here it should simply have to have include 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 my string one dot data file and that's it okay so file save all project build project and i think it's okay i think it's okay five errors what is the failure string one dot display string one dot string one dot declare the scope my string one, my string one, my string one, file, save all, save all, project, build. So this is a little different. Five errors, what is that called? String one, display, display. String one, not declaring the scope. My string one, read a file. My string one, my. Massing one file save all. Okay, let's let's deep for the beginning. My string one str str and let's define it with som som and then go forward and then let's have str dot display str dot display. Okay, let's see it. Let's see what it does. Save project, build project. And zero error, zero warning. So let's run it. Let's run it. So this is okay. And then let's create another my string one, my string one. Let's create a str one. And let's create call the copy constructor here. And then let's define it str1 dot display okay let's see both will both should be both should print some and some okay all right both should print some and some so this is perfectly okay and then let's let's have it 
st uh, my string my string one st uh, two let's create it with read it read it and then let's have it st uh, two dot display and let's let's see what it does so it should okay and it should read it should be displayed read it is displayed and now let's just call the assignment operator str1 and then so str2 dot display dot display and now str2 should print SOM okay let's see let's see okay let's see all SOM will be printed and that's it I think it should work it should work and so this is so this is then str2 we have called the assignment operator and we have copied the contents of the str1 to str2 now str2 will also become SOM so that's it guys so uh, hopefully uh, this will be uh, a good learning lesson for the beginners of the C++ class. We have discussed about canonical class and why do we need canonical class to make uh, the user defined type as uh, as uh, similar to the built in types as possible. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.